Uh, good morning there folks, it's Monday, and you know what that means, welcome along to episode number uh, 15 of our F1 Manager 22 career mode with Team Alpine, and uh, it is the Belgian Grand Prix today. Now this Grand Prix I'm looking forward to, looking forward to this uh, precisely so, Ferrari and the constructors lead the way, followed by Red Bull who lead by a country ball over Mercedes and Alpine, then Alfa Romeo, Alfa Tauri, McLaren, Haas, Williams and Aston Martin. Your top 10 in the constructors, Charles, sorry, in the championship, Charles Leclerc leads away from Carlos Sainz, then Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez, Fernando Alonso, P5 ahead of Lewis Hamilton, then George Russell, Valtteri Bottas, Esteban Ocon, and Pierre Gasly somehow getting the points that uh, they needed from the Hungarian Grand Prix. So, with that being said, I'm hoping for uh, a good race around uh, Spa. I'll go take the practice sessions and then we will see you for qualifying first session where hopefully we'll be able to get uh, a good result nice and high up the grid. Thank you very much. Goodbye. God bless and everything else in between. All right then time for Q1 and you can see it is raining here in uh, Spa. That's uh, not to be surprised because uh, this area of the Ardennes forest it has its own uh, it almost has its own climate. Plus, with this being the longest circuit on the calendar, it, it's almost, it's over four miles in length. I kid you not, and it used to be that this circuit was actually ten miles. So how, how does, how scary does that sound? Right. So rain is going to happen until 1618, so yeah, I reckon it's going to be wet the whole session. So we, we should be fine. We should be absolutely fine. Let's get set these guys out on intermediates. It's uh, going to be a wet race as well. And it's going to be a very wet race. So we'll uh, we'll be starting on the wet tyres. That is for damn sure. We're not going to uh, we're not going to have any uh, problems there. Alonso, are you not leaving the pit lane yet? You, do, do you not want to? I don't blame you personally. It's a uh, it's a bit soggy out there, Fernando. Up, up to Fernando. Do you want to leave the pit lane? Hello. Hello. Do you want to leave the pit lane? Oh, well, I've just seen. I've got the pause button on. <laughs> it it would help if the pause button was not on. That that would uh, help out, wouldn't it, folks? <laughs> right. Let's see what uh, these two can do in the rain. I think if I'm right, isn't it our first wet set qualifying session as well? Full wets there on Inters. That's good to know. What's uh, what's Leclerc's on Inters? So that's uh, that's fine. So everybody's on Inters. Tires again a little warm, says uh, Fernando. That that's fine, Fernando. That's absolutely fine, mate. Uh, and you do a 47.5. Wow, Leclerc then pops in a... Sorry, you did a 46.4 uh, and then a long... No, you did a 47.5, yeah. And then uh, Leclerc pops in with a 46.47. Normal rain expected. Try wow, that, uh, that one's going to uh, send tears to your eyes. Ooh, but look at all these cars. We're much, much faster than... <laughs> we got the best of the sessions right here. Send them out nice and easy. Somebody's locked it up. Oh, the sun's it's come out. Okay. Rain has stopped. Look. Let's have another look. Science but the track is still wet. Oh, there goes a, a wide car. There. That isn't good. there goes a wide car. That's uh, not good. The team are devastated. They'll be questioning just what happened out there. That's a Ferrari wide. So. Uh. The track is still wet. There's no way that these guys are going to improve. There's no way these guys are going to improve. They, they, they can't improve, surely. I mean, the track is wet. Sure, the rain has stopped, but the track is still very wet. Oh, wow, I've got 99% setup confidence. Hello? Where's that come from? Now, I, 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 I don't know. Do I chance Ocon out there with the dry tyres? 
then again, I'm happy for for them to stay in because. Yeah, I don't know. This one's a tough one. I fancy said at least not Alonso. I fancy uh, said that Alonso for a gamble, just in case these guys go out on dry tyres. Let's see. No, they're going on inters. They're going out on inters on a wet track. There's no way they're going to improve. It's going to be dry for Q2 then. I mean, look, look that's um, Norris is going out on inters. Jo Joe's on inters. Gasly's on inters. Bottas is staying in the pit lane on inters. He's on inters too. They're all on inters. There, there is no physical possible way this track will improve. No physical possible way this track's going to improve. We're, we're holding it down. P2, P3. Thank you very much. Goodbye. God bless. Simple as that. De it, it's impossible that uh, they're Second going to improve. Level, I think. Still learned a lot. It's just absolutely nigh on impossible. No way that, that they're going to improve. Oh. Um... Okay, they did improve then. So, we're both out. We're starting at the back. What the hell? They went... What on earth was that? that that's surely not right. We, we got beat by Latifi. Well, you know what then? I'm going to execute an idea. All right, so, so what that plan is going to be this, okay? We're going to take all new stuff. It's going to cost us a, million, a bit of money, but we are going to take new everything. And we are going to come basically with all fresh stuff. If we're starting at the back, we may as well take all these fresh components and then get on with it for what we need to. So, yeah, we unused new parts, so uh, we'll take that. Yeah, we may might leave the gearbox actually. Might leave the gearbox. Ocon, we're gonna get you a new engine and a new ERS part as well. So a million splashed out on that. That's fine. Yeah, install that on the car. And then install the new ERS battery on the car as well. There you go. Simple as that. That's what we're going to do this season. That is what we're going to do. And then hopefully we'll come charging through the field. And we'll get uh, even more points than we need to from P18 and P19. Because I imagine Latifi's penalties put a block. It's a bit of a cloudy day for the race, but the atmosphere as ever is electric. Looking at the Alpine for a moment. They'll be starting the race from the bottom half of the grid, so there's a fair bit of ground to make up. Further back, we've got Esteban Ocon. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. Everything's been building to this. Get ready, it's the Belgian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. It is indeed lights out, and away we go. And here we go then for the Belgian Grand Prix from basically the back of the grid. It's going to be all about who can uh, get forward best here, because, yeah, we've taken new um, engine out. components. We've taken all new okay. stuff. I would hope that... Um, I would hope that we'll be able to get to the front. Uh, I hold my hands up for what happened in uh, qualifying. That was my bad. Uh, although I think the uh, the weather has got to uh, play some part in it as well as we've still uh, p. We're basically last uh, on the uh, field here as we head down uh, the Kemmel Strait for the first time into Lake Con. Still, uh, Alonso leads Ocon into the. Uh, 
through the uh, Lake Con section, now down to the Brussels hairpin. Or is it Malmedy? Is it Malmedy? No, I think that's Brussels uh, hairpin. Then this is the uh, Liège corner, and then the run down to uh, down to Pouon. As uh, we've got uh, Nicholas Latifi uh, going wide in the uh, Pouon, uh, so close. Oh, go on then, go around the outside there, uh, Alonso. Loving your work. Well, I'm not loving your work yet, but I hope they'll be loving your work. I really hope I'll be loving your work. It'd be it'd be awfully nice if I did love your work. Because we, we want to uh, get to the front. We want to get past this Williams uh, as quickly as we uh, possibly can. Come on then. Up to uh, Blanchimont. Let's get him up to Blanchimont, Alonso. Let, let's... let's. Uh, oh, you haven't pulled out yet. All right, we'll try, try to outbreak him in the, in the uh, bus stop chicane because Latifi is holding us up here. We want to get past Latifi pretty quick and then we want to get... Oh, we've got yellow flags uh, up ahead. Someone's uh, had a bit of an incident in the bus stop, I would imagine. Yellow, where you yellow, yellow. Let's see uh, what uh, happened. Let's it's Lewis it Hamilton that uh, had now, the incident. The and Lewis Hamilton, aggressive! Oh, aggressive that's has gone said. around. See you later, Lewis. Bye. That's a, that's a spot. Well, uh, really aw, you, you, did you all not like Let's that? Aw, did ums. Oh, well. Alpine right, onto lap uh, number two. Alonso's finally got past this okay, bloody Williams so down uh, the down the uh, Kemble straight. Great move into Lacom. Easy as you like. Thank you very much. Fantastic job. That's what we're talking about there, uh, there. Frankie Baby. So you know, a lot of people uh, ask me why I call him Frankie Baby. It's because his nickname is Frankie. His real name's really Fernando, delighted. but uh, he doesn't mind uh, Frankie. I hope he doesn't anyway. Right, onto Let's lap four. I think go is that Kevin Magnuson? I think it is Kevin Magnuson and whoops. They spun the car. Yep, a uh, bit of a parking lot outside of La Source there. <laughs> but that's uh fine. Ooh, the wet weather is coming. Right then, what do we do guys? What do we do? Do we go uh, on board with Alonso? He's trying to get past Hollywood Land Stroll here. Oh, he's going to get him. Oh, he's going to get him into Blodgemond. Okay. Great pass there for uh, Frankie. Now try and get Vettel. Now try and get Vettel into the bus stop. O Ocon's coming with him. I think. I think Ocon's with Go on, Ocon. Go on, Esteban. Overtake available. There you go. Love your work, Esteban. Yep, Alonso got past. Whoa, hello. Ocon's now... Uh, Alonso hit the brakes really hard. Ocon's got past Alonso. That could have been uh, a bit of a disaster there. Let's have a look at uh, Ocon's pass on Hollywood Land Stroll again. Because, you know, we, we've got to look at some of these uh, some of these passes. We've got to uh, sit there. We've got to appreciate them for what they are. And uh, hopefully it is uh, appreciative as well. So there we go. Absolutely lovely work there. We, we can get through the field on this fresh engine. That's the intention, and that's uh, what we're going to do. Meanwhile, Ocon's still on board with Ocon. He's going to get Vettel down uh, the Kemble Strait, I think. Through Eau Rouge. Into Radion. Go on, Esteban. Esteban will have DRS here. Come on. Come on, Esteban. There you go. Look at that. Breezing past that... Uh, Aston Martin with the greatest of ease there. You are job. doing a fantastic job, Esteban. Right, let's get after Alex Albon now. We're 20 seconds behind the leader, Max Verstappen. That is not uh, what we let's wanted to see look. there. Let's have another look yeah, at that uh, pass down with Looks the like uh, Kevel straight from Esteban. I think, uh, is that Lewis Hamilton uh, in the background also making move? No, he's stuck behind Nicholas Latifi. Goodness me. Things uh, Ian really Moving didn't expect to say. Lewis Hamilton stuck behind Nicholas Latifi. I think it's safe to say no, I'm serious. I really didn't well expect to team. watch out. Guy's going to appear in the background. Oh, he didn't appear this time. Shocking one. Alpine All right, on to uh, lap number six. Off God, uh, I think he's overtaken Alex okay. Albon. Yes, so he has. We have the An easy move into Blanchimont. And thank you very much. We'll uh, we'll get that guy in the uh, in the bus stop there as uh, I think Alonso's finally going to get past uh, Sebastian here. I saw uh, I saw some twitchy moves in the uh, in the background there. Let's hope that uh, that pays off. And it looks like it has. And Ocon now has passed Mick Schumacher. 
taking a look again. Oh, hello. That's uh, that's a little bit wider than it needed to be in uh, Eau Rouge there, Sebastian. He got overtaken by a Hollywood Land Stroll. We don't need uh, any moves like that uh, happening. Thank you very much. All right, on to lap. Uh, we've got Magnussen running wide. Let's have a look at Magnussen. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit wide there through uh, Lake Con. The rain is coming. Yeah, the rain's coming down. So it's all about who blinks uh, first here. It's all about who blinks first. I, I've got uh, a feeling that, uh, here we go, we've got uh, pit stops happening. And uh, off we're going to bring in uh, who we got. Uh, oh, that's uh, Norris, I think, run wide at the age. That, that's uh, pretty standard. Easy to do that. Easier than you actually uh, all think. It really is. It's such a fast corner. If you get that wrong, you're in the uh, you're in the barriers, right? We're going to double stack these guys. So Schumacher has crashed in. Uh, where's Schumacher crash? Oh, it's going to be late. Calm. No, it's not it's going to be the bus stop. And Schumacher is not going to stop. But uh, oh dear. Well, I'm glad that uh, wall's there because we don't get to see the carnage that uh, happened after that. Because I'm pretty sure that would be uh, a bit X-rated. Mick Schumacher just get it uh, slightly wrong there in... Uh, <laughs> just slightly wrong. And uh, meanwhile, we've got um, the invisible car. There's Ocon. We've had to double stack the boys. That's absolutely fine. Alonso, uh, unfortunately, took, uh, took the hit there. So Ocon's going to come out P17. And Alonso's going to come out P18. Have we split the strat? No, we've, we're, we're both on wet. So that's uh, that's absolutely fine. We're both on wet. Everyone, there's a mix of uh, wet and intermediate runners here. Sector 2, uh, somebody's locked up. I imagine we'll see who that is uh, in a second. It's going to be Esteban Ocon. Is it uh, Ocon? No, Ocon's going to overtake... Um, Who's this? Is this Bottas? Was that? Uh, that's one of the Haas cars, I think. Yeah, it's one of the Haas cars. It, it, it's all about when we can get these uh, wet tyres working. We're not going to make uh, that mistake that we've been making. All right, lap uh, 11. Oh, Ocon overtakes Magnussen into the bus stop chicane. Out of the bus stop chicane. Oh yeah, go on, Ocon. Love your work. Alonso's having a stinker. Right about now, he's having an absolute stinker. I don't know what's going on with uh, Frankie Baby today. But uh, he is having a real stinker. Let me just... Uh... We can take a look now. Let me just send this. And there goes Ocon past Norris. So, moves are definitely happening. They take advantage and muscle their way through. Excellent work. Moves, I would I say, are definitely, say uh, definitely happening. Well it's all about um, who wants to make them first. Right, lap yeah, 15, Magnuson's back past Let's Ocon. Let's have a look at replay. that. Let me just send this all comment pretty quickly. Bold move indeed, and with that, they've gained a position. There we go. That's uh, that's and been that sent. It's so uh, it's so good multitasking during uh, these videos. Chances. Right, lap 16. Schumacher. Oh, not Schumacher then. again. Now, oh, it's the same the corner. Oh my God, Mick Schumacher is not having the best Grand Prix, and that yes, that might back. be even more. Oh my God, that might be even more violent than the first crash. But look at the rain coming down now. These are uh, wet tight. The wets are so close to working. So, so close. But what are we? P14, P15. It's... It's so close. And and um, I do mean it's so close. We've got a yellow in sector three. Let's have a look. Uh, see who comes out. It's Bottas locking up. Where's he going to lock up? He's going to lock up into La Source. And yep, that's just going to go a little bit wide. That's uh, that's fine. Again, it's a slow enough corner. It's uh, it's very easy to do. Very easy to do. 
We'll see. But, so yeah. We'll uh we'll see how oh god the tires are heated up. Alright, lap per uh, twenty and uh Alonso is in the pits. So what we're all we're actually thinking here is because uh, Alonso is so far back and because he's our little Spanish superstar, we're gonna put him on Inters and see uh, see which Alpine has uh, got this right. Doc on P14. Alonso is gonna slip down probably to last, I would say. Where's Mick Schumacher? He might not slip down to last. He might stay P18. So let's see what Alonso can do from here. If the call is to then go on to the Inters, we'll go on to the Inters. But if not, I've kind of messed this one up. I've kind of messed this one up for Frankie, haven't I? Okay, if uh, if he doesn't get this right, but we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see what he says. All right, overtake. Ocon's overtaken Magnussen again. The replay. Okay. So Standard into uh, oh, nice uh, nice late move there, almost into the back of that. Uh, Aston Martin. That's uh, not something we wanted to see, but uh, we will uh, take it nonetheless. Good work. Alright, Stroll's locked up. Let's have a look uh, what uh, Stroll's going to lock up into La Source. And that's Ocon behind him, so uh, that's going to be a free spot. Thank you very much. And nice and easy from you there, uh, Mr. Stroll. We will gladly take that from you all day, every day. Right, lap 24, Magnuson's now locking up. So there's a lot of lockups uh, happening out here today. That's into our source again. I'm just wondering now, everyone's on wets now. And Alonso, yeah, everyone's on wets now. Ricardo's now locked up. Daniel Ricardo involved. And that's into the uh, the Brussels hairpin. The it which again, it's downhill and off camber. It's easy to do. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, Vettel's locked up into there. turn seven. So the again, the the, uh, the Brussels hairpin. Up, that that downhill hairpin work. seems to be causing a lot of trouble out there today. In these horrible conditions here the in Belgium. They'll be questioning just yeah, what so you there. may well. You got a tear in your shirt. Man's got a tear in his shirt. What's going on? Right, we're getting Alonso in because uh, this experiment did not work. <laughs> it did not work, ladies and gentlemen. And now is the time for Wetzel's Yuki Sonoda runs wide. Let's uh, see where he's going to run wide in the age. Oh, did, did he hit the wall? Did he hit the wall there? That looked very, very close to hitting the wall there. The team are really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. I was going to say, that looked uh, awfully like suspicious. Schumacher, not Schumacher into the bus right, stop again. This. No, it's Schumacher, Schumacher into uh, La Source, so that's yeah, uh, yeah, all right. That's well, it, it's not all right, but y you know what I say. Shall I be him? I think there's been a lockup. Let's take another and look. now we, we got uh, an Alfa Romeo doing the same conditions again. Absolutely horrible out there. And I mean, awful. Alpine All right, lap 31, Ocon's overtaken Albon. Down like the Kemmel straight, good move into La Source. Uh, sorry, uh, Lake Con. La Source is the hairpin at the top here, and you should know this by now. And that is a great move. Ocon might be able to score some points today. He might. It's going to be awfully close. I hope it does. That'd be brilliant if he could. All right, lap 32. Alonso's uh, back past Hollywood Land Stroll. Down the Kemmel straight uh, they go. And that's going to be into Lake Com. Thank you very much. Goodbye. God bless. Absolutely adore your work there, Frankie. Come on. Let's get your head down. Head down Is and let's uh, go I'm forward. Really that. Let's see if we can get some something with you today. Right, that 36 a lot, and so is a pass Lando okay, now so into the bus the stop. Good, good. Even though it's not shaped like a, it used to be shaped like a bus stop. For those that uh, remember the old circuit, 
But uh, yeah, I, I I must say I prefer that, uh, that Lucia game. I wouldn't mind if O'Rouge was a challenge again though. All right, Alonso's now overtaken Nicholas Latifi. Nicholas Latifi, do you remember the do you remember the way you go this uh, race? Do you? Brilliant, Fan fantastic. I'm glad to, uh, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, he he forgot where to go with the, the Japanese Grand Prix. <laughs> Uh, uh, good old Nicholas Latifi. It's a shame he's uh, re leaving F1 at the end of this season. That's a real shame. Oh, oh, sh oh not Schumacher again. Oh, no, this is the third time. What is going on with Mick Schumacher into the bus stop chicane? And oh, no. Oh, Mick. Uh, Alonso's overtaken Sebastian. Okay. Yep, so down the kebble straight, nothing. easy as you like, easy as you uh, need it. <coughs> I apologise for burping, but that had to come out eventually. Oh dear me. Deary, deary me. The team there so it looks off. like it's going to be a, a non-point score finish for Alonso at the moment. Ocon, P8. Sector 1, uh, Magnuson, that? these hat cards. These has cars are not having uh, the best of seasons uh, at the moment. There goes uh, Magnussen a little bit deep into La Source. Not, not what we needed there, uh, K Mag, but uh, you know it is, uh, it is what it is. Let's, uh, let's knuckle down, shall we? Let's, uh, let's, knuck let's knuckle down for the better. Ocon P8. He's got Lewis Hamilton all over his rear end. If he can hold a Stroll's uh, crap. Did Stroll crash into... Oh, no. Oh, well, you're about to see uh, Aston Martin go deep and uh, crash head on into the barrier. Ow. Oh, dear me. That's uh, that's really going to leave a mark. All right. Lap, uh, last lap. Uh, Ocon. Alonso's down in P15. He's been lapped, unfortunately. Ocon's uh, on his final lap of the Grand Prix. Look at the how far he's a, he's nearly the full circuit behind. Uh, uh, what do you call it, Carlos Sainz? He's got Max Verstappen. In fact, Carlos Sainz has now finished the race. That's such is his uh, such is his pace. We've got multiple cars that have crashed. Yeah, Sainz has, uh, Sainz has won this Grand Prix. We're defending like mad from uh, Lewis oh, Hamilton. Have a look at this uh, crash here. Now just focus it's going to be... Who's it going to be? Oh, oh, no. Oh, it's the Haas again. Oh, no, it's the Haas again. I imagine that's Kevin Magnussen and uh, he's just took out um, Pierre Gasly as Carlos Sainz holds on to win the Belgian Grand Prix from uh, Max Verstappen. Meanwhile, here's the closest uh, fight we have on the track. It's Esteban Ocon and Lewis Hamilton who are both still on the lead lap through the uh, Brussels hairpin. Come on, Ocon. This is for pride today. The, it, believe it or not, even though Alonso's had a terrible race, so's George Russell. So, in essence, if we can stay ahead of Hamilton, we'll extend the gap to uh, to the Mercedes team so we need to uh, get this car to the end of the Grand Prix we need to get it there pretty sharpish defend like absolute stabbed rat <sighs> he's in defend he's defending oh he's got the straight line speed on that Mercedes that's fantastic he's got the straight line speed on that Mercedes he has got the straight line speed. Esteban Ocon from the back of the field. Basically P last. He's going to bring home P8. That's what we're talking. Great work, Esteban. Absolutely love your work today, son. Love your work. That's what we're talking about, baby. This wasn't bad at all from Alpine. Now the question is, how can they make it better next time? Yes, there's no doubt that they have what it takes 
I can't wait to see which direction they go in for the next race. And after this result, the team is fourth in the constructor standings. For the next round, Formula One won't be straying too far. We'll be heading to the dunes of Zandvoort and the lightning speed of the Dutch Grand Prix. Uh, Okie dokie then. So, uh, Carlos Sainz, he wins the Spanish Grand Prix ahead of... Sorry, he, he wins the Belgian Grand Prix <laughs> ahead of Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez, Pierre Gasly with a P4. Ow! Said everyone at the same time. Valtteri Bottas uh, finished P5 and Charles Leclerc, Daniel Ricciardo, Ocon coming back from P last to P8. What a result for uh, Esteban. Loving your work, son. Uh, Lewis Hamilton and Alex Albon. I believe that's Williams' first point this uh, season. So Alex Albon coming in clutch with a P10. Ahead of uh, Guan Yu Zhou, Carlos Sainz now takes the lead in the uh, Drivers' Championship ahead of uh, Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen. Fernando and Esteban remain P5 and P9. Loving your work there, lads. Loving your work. And in the uh, Constructors... Uh, Alpine gained two points on the Mercedes team. We're coming there, uh, Mercedes. We are coming. We are coming, and you know we're coming. Yeah, we've put Oscar in uh, the car for pack. We're going to do that a lot to, to try and get Oscar race ready. I don't think uh, it'll be too far uh, along. Right, let's go uh, wrap it up then, shall we? Uh, okay, then. Tough race for Fernando. We'll, uh, we'll give you that. But uh, Ocon, man. Ocon, absolutely. Oh, we got some new underfloor. Brilliant. We can apply that to, to the car. Yes, I, I I do agree. It was a very difficult race uh, there, Patrick. Absolutely fine. Don't uh, don't worry. We'll um, we'll get on with it. Oscar Piastri development. Uh, you should. Yeah. Oh, we got two development points to use on Oscar. Oh, nice. We'll get them uh, used then. Definitely. Absolutely we'll uh, get them used. Right, what can we uh, put on him? We'll put on uh, his smoothness. And we may as well put them both on his smoothness. So there you go. We'll soon have Oscar Piastri becoming a smooth operator. Smooth operator. <laughs> Fernando. See... Uh, Oscar's got four years on his contract left, so that's plenty of time. Ocon's got a few years. It's going to be whether we keep uh, Alonso for next year. Oh, we got a development point for Ocon as well. That's nice. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Trains in World uh, fills in tomorrow um, because we've only got one NASCAR this week. So, uh, in the meantime, stay safe, be kind to each other. We'll see you tomorrow for Trains in World, and we'll see you on Thursday for the next F1 Manager.